Hello everyone, welcome to Academically. Today I'm going to discuss regarding the PBC versus CAPS exam. So as you know, if you are an overseas qualified pharmacist and you want to work in Canada, you need to write PBC exam called Pharmacy Examination of Board of Canada. Or if you want to become a pharmacist in Australia or New Zealand, you need to write CAPS exam, Knowledge Assessment of Pharmaceutical Sciences. Now I'm going to discuss in this video uh, the total time, how much uh, take and uh, which is an easier or tough exam. So, and uh, how much money you need to uh, spend and uh, which one is recommended from my side. So we'll see comparison A to Z, what are the steps will take, the English requirement, the steps, fees, uh, expenses, salaries, you know, each and everything we will discuss in this video. PBC versus CAP. So stay tuned with me. Confused about going to Canada or Australia to practice pharmacy? I have got all of your questions here. Let's talk about each one of them in detail. Um, so first of all, we will talk about the PBC exam. The steps need to take, you know, the first step is called uh, document evaluation. And so you have to enroll with NAPRA, a gateway, a website. You need to go there and you need to, before you uh, send your document for the PBC evaluation. Um, minimum requirement, you need minimum four years of bachelor degree. Need to have a bachelor of pharmacy or a doctor of pharmacy. Kiya. Both are eligible to apply for BBC for Canada. And there is no English test required to apply for this. In case of Australia, we need it, but it will be needed later. Here, when you are applying your registration in your state, at the time they will ask you um, English requirement as well. Okay. Then second step will come the pharmacist evolution exam. This is an online exam, MCQ basic exam. You can give uh, from your home. Okay. And then is a qualifying exam. And this is uh, basically a MCQ basic exam, 4.5 hours. Then part two is mm -hmm. nearly 6.5 hours. And this exam, you need to be in Canada to pass this exam. So this is uh, the three-step process uh, for Canada uh, to become a pharmacist. Some important features, uh, you know, uh, from my side. So this is, uh, it will take a, uh, two to three years to uh, uh, in this entire process to become a registered pharmacist in Canada. There's a long journey in Canada. And cost, I can say, a little bit high as compared to CAPS exam in Australia and very highly competitive when you are looking at jobs in Canada. I have discussed already in my previous videos. And um, language proficiency requirement is there. Uh, English which I have plus French. If you are a French speaker or you know French, there will be high difference for you in the job as well, you know. And adapting the Canadian healthcare system is not easy. Limited recognition for international uh, qualification. So these are the a uh, few things you need to think about. You know when you are talking about uh, PBC uh, registration and if you are looking to market Canada. Now let's talk about the CAPS exam. So CAPS exam are uh, conducted by the Australian Pharmacy Council and it will take an entire process will take around uh, ten to fourteen months and. Uh, these are the steps you need to complete. First step we call eligibility check. Okay, this is just a document they want to check. And Bachelor of Pharmacy or Doctor of Pharmacy both are eligible for CAPS exam. And step two, you need to write this CAPS exam. It is an online exam. You can write from your home country. There are so many exam centers in India right now. Fifty percent marks you require to pass this exam. In case of PBC, you require sixty percent. I will also compare in the next slides. Uh, so an English test required after CAPS, not before the CAPS. And yes, then you have to apply for approach registration, jobs, and visa. Entire thing I can say in one year you can complete in order to Canada and Sari process go Let's talk about three very important parameters this PBC or CAPS. First, first of all, the exam. So exam is very tough, PBC as compared to CAPS, and CAPS required only 50% marks to pass, and uh, PBC required 60%. So 10% high marks required in PBC. So you can think about Secondly, you think about the jobs. The jobs are very, very competitive and very low jobs are available. Uh, but if you are uh, very uh, good communications and you have experience, then maybe you can get the job, especially in the regional areas in North Canada. Okay. Or, uh, so expenses is high. 
um, uh, in Canada as compared to Australia. At the end, I can say PPC uh, pathway expensive and with long long duration, making it to the first uh, choice to immigrate. So I recommend that CAPS exam is the easiest exam you can easily pass. So whether it is Australia or Canada, if you are coming to study here, you are doing your master degree in any case. So easily you can pass CAPS exam as compared to uh, PBC Canada. Okay? So in that case, you have to study. Karna hai. So definitely think about the Australia or New Zealand and you can directly can get the PR visa within one year in Australia and New Zealand. In case of Canada, it may take more time, you know. So this is the video. And if you, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will try to reply in my other video. And more information, uh, visit academy.com. See you. Bye.